Now that we've gone over the Add Geometry section, we're ready to move on to the Edit Geometry section. We previously looked at the Brush tool early on, but I'm going to cover it very quickly once more. If I right-click and drag, left and right, I can increase my brush size. You can use it as a Move tool. Even without snapping, you can move it in 3D space. And this is very helpful whenever you want to fix any snapping errors. I'm going to undo. And you can also smooth as well by holding down the shift key. You can see the green profile in the center of your brush. If you right click and drag up and down, you can increase or decrease the smoothing level. So let's hold down the shift key and brush here. I'll undo. Now let's move to the Delete Polygons tool, and that's very self-explanatory. Let's just delete. You can't really brush and delete. You can only just delete one polygon at a time as you click. So I'll undo. Delete Edges. That too is quite self-explanatory. You can delete a single edge, or you can hold down the Control key, and it will delete an entire loop. So that's one of the best ways to perform quick poly reduction on a model. Uh, collapse. You can hover over an edge and it will collapse it. Let me undo. You can hold down the control key and it's going to collapse along a row of edges like this. Let's do that. So now let's look at split rings. You can see a preview before you click. You can also Hit the space bar if you want to be a bit more precise. I can enter the value numerically, 0.5, and it will be halfway between this edge and this edge. So I'll hit OK. Let's skip down to slide edges and we'll come back to move. Slide edges is much like delete edges. You can slide just one at a time, or you can hold down the control key and slide an entire loop. Let's go to Move. In Auto Mode, it will allow you to move whatever subcomponent you're hovering over. If I hover over a vertex, I can move just that vertex. Hover over an edge, just an edge. Um, a polygon, if I hover toward the center of the polygon, then I can move that entire polygon. One might come into this workspace for the first time and wonder, how do you weld vertices together? You do have a few other tools that allow you to weld on the fly. One of those is points and faces. Add and split is another. But the main one you would typically utilize is the move tool. So if I hover over a vertex and bring it over the top of another, it will weld it. And you can test it by clicking and dragging. Same thing here. Click that one and drag it over the top of the other one, and it's going to weld. So I'll undo a few times. And now we have the Measure tool. You can choose the different measurements here. You can also change the number of digits after the comma. So let's lay down a line, hit Escape. And this digits after comma affects the number of digits here. Constraints. By default, it has none, so you can move it in any direction. I'll hit Escape to drop that. You can make it align to X, Y, and Z. So no matter where I move my mouse, I can only make it align along an axis. I hit Escape. If you want it to be a very specific axis, you could check that here. Okay, now I can't move it up and down or any other direction. Let's clear these two. And you can constrain it along a specific plane, X, Y plane, X and Z, and so on. You can also constrain it in screen space. Use distance snapping. With that checked, you can enter a value. Let's try 20. Hit OK. And when I click, it's going to snap along that distance. You can see it's in increments of 20, 40, 60, 80, and so on. Escape. 
let's use no constraints. If you shift click on the endpoint, you can continue creating or building off that line. Okay, so I'll hit escape to drop the initial completion of it. Clear. And once you've made a set of measurements, if you want to be able to come back to it, you can save and reload later. You can also make the measurement tool visible while you use other tools if you check here. Let's use the fixed length. And that is all you're going to get, whatever length you have. You can continue in these increments. Let's try 20 again. I'll clear. Okay, so I'm going to uncheck the fixed distance and just use distance snapping. Once I have a line laid down, I do have some options. If I check this toggle here, I can hide the distance so I see just the line. I can also make it curve so it can go around a curved surface or even an object like this. But you may want to add some additional points so that it snaps to the surface properly. You can name it. You can change the color so it's easy to differentiate if you have a number of different measured lines. And you can hide it or unhide it. So I'll uncheck curve. And I'll click this toggle again to collapse that menu. And that's a quick look at using the Edit Geometry tools. In the next video, we're going to go over the command section, which is largely contingent upon using the Select tool and the individual subcomponents. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.